Hey guys, it's Eve D. So we're back from another video. Today we're doing some more electrical work in my house. Um, so currently we have cut the power to the downstairs uh, lights. I've already, I pulled apart some things already, but here we have our four-way switch. So here's the four-way right here. I wired how it is. I opened it. It was like that, white, white, red, red, but stabbings. That's a problem. Should be illegal. Um, they did do everything in here right, except for the stabbings. It's a square box, mud ring, typical stuff. Looks good. Um, except for that, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, open the tripod. So our problem is when we turn this switch on, right here, the power. When we turn the switch off, actually, you're not able to turn the other switches on until you turn this one back on. And it's not supposed to be like that, obviously. So, I'm assuming what might be wrong is, I'm assuming one of the connectors fell out and broke. But they're all stabbings. They don't know how to do anything because it seems like they DIYed it at all and everything. So... I haven't taken this switch out, so I'm going to do that with you guys. This is the switch we're working on. This is another switch. Um, this is the room we're in. This one's currently live. Actually, I'm going to go shut that off. Alright, so we have no power, I actually shut off like downstairs anywhere now so what we did we cut the power and we currently are just getting light off of the bathroom bathroom GFCS circuit so we're gonna take this out take a look while we're at it we might as well try to fix this because this doesn't work when that light switches off I'm pretty sure it might be like that I have one extra three-way switch I don't have any four-way switches We'll just take this one out quickly. Let's take this one out right now. Down. So, in here, it's a little confusing because we have multiple cables coming in. That's weird. So I get the feeling this switch went bad. It seems when you turn it on, it makes all sorts of weird sounds. Oh, that's loose. Um, where's the common? That's common right there. Okay, so here's the common, like it's supposed to. The common, and the two other cables go out. I don't know what the hell's going on with this cable. It's a weird setup. And let's go look upstairs, but that shouldn't be affecting anything. Um, let's just replace the switch while we're at it. Let's get our cutters. Now, I wasn't anticipating on 
replacing this switch, but I'm just trying to fix it. So it worked before. It worked before. It used to work. It doesn't work anymore for some reason though. Also, it seems to be as this house we have all stab ends, no cables coming out of the box, and there's hardly any room. It's a custom box. Strip it. Now I'm cutting it extra on purpose. Then I might have to cut it later or do something like that. So my, my strips are long. We can cut them off later. Okay, so this is not a brand new one, but it's all we have. Bend this back. And we're gonna put this one on. So here we are for our three way. We have first look for our common. The common is black. So it's this black screw right here. And when I said in the last video, loosen it a little. So that way you can actually mess around with it. There you go. And then figure out which way it turns to tighten. This one turns this way. So we put the loop at the top. Tighten it down. Let me just check the other one. I'm pretty sure they had it white on the other side. So you're supposed to do it black, red, and then white. So now that we've checked, oh, I gotta be kidding me. Oh, there we go. Okay, now that we've checked this, we're going to turn the power on. We will not touch anything. We need to test this. We're gonna put it all back together and take it apart. Let me turn that on. Now we hit this switch. 
Hopefully. Okay. So we did fix it. It was just a broken three-way right here. So you see, I'm going to zoom out. When we hit this one, that works all. Hit this one. This one. It all works how it's supposed to now. And it's all just because this three-way, you can hear it. Well, you were able to hear it when I had it in place. I would turn it on and off, and it was, it was like something felt loose. A cheap piece of garbage. I don't know how to wire it. People who did it, though. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to cut the power again, and we'll screw it all in. breakers what because being the label at all but so now screw it all in so don't work anything because power is off so put it in there like it how it should be there we go screw it back in one thing I like to do I don't screw them in all the way because then if I do it off, I have to unscrew it and all. So I do it a little bit loose. Look at it. I have a nitty tight. Loosen it. Turn off the screw gun. It's too tight. So loosen it. See how it should be. That way it's movable. Put your plate on. Move it into the position you want. And then you know you need to move it. Plate on. Push it in. And tighten it. So that way it doesn't move. And then when you go put a plate on, it fits perfectly. I think this one's still broken. Okay, right, good. That's not broken anymore. Awesome. It's really a miracle. So. Now, we, we had this um, taped off because it was not working, obviously. It was, the only problem was, it was either, I have to rewatch the video. Two problems, but I fixed it anyways. First problem, they wired it wrong. And the switch just broke after use. It was a cheap switch, garbage. Or, what also could have happened, these, these are screws that were on here. What could have happened is the cheap garbage switch broke and I get the feeling that's what did happen just to do how to fill up switch and when I hit it it made weird sounds and when I hit it it would also make the light flash which is real weird so yeah it worked when we moved in so it don't work anymore so we had to fix it well I fixed it we had it taped off, and now I'm just going around to have some fixing stuff. Because why not? So I'm getting that urge to actually fix stuff. One thing to do, as I said in the other video, make your screws always line up. Shows that you actually care. So now we'll go over here. 
fix. Put this one back together. Grab the screw gun. So first, we're just going to put this back into the box. There it is. This is a um, four game box back here. Three, two game, I meant. Two game box, mud ring on it. Now it would fix this, but it's just, it works now. And I want to put too much liability issues on this house. It's not the right screw. I'm only fixing stuff that's currently broken. So again, don't tighten it all the way. So that way you can still move it around. And then, also what you should do, you might have to, depending on your local codes, make it at least a little even. Little level, plump. Everything like that. And then, and then put your plate on. And this looks like a jumbo plate, just depending on how big it is. Put your plate on. I keep it in the on position to hold whatever I put on it. One thing you can also do, you can pop the screws through the plate like this. Take it. Grab your screwdriver. I use one of these screwdrivers that I can change from forwards to backwards. I mean, not forwards to backwards, but yeah. I can change from Phillips to flathead screws very quickly. And it's nice so I don't have to carry two screwdrivers around. I love it. I use it on literally everything, even if it's not electrical I'm doing. Just works great. 